Okay, Stanley Parable time. This game, when did it come out? A few years ago already, I think. Hopefully my computer can handle it. Click to skip. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came <laughs> him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, what a hard how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Wow. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Your ex-friend is communist, Arabian, gay, 12-year-old baby, selfish moron? <laughs> okay. Maybe that's why you point out that they're ex-friends. This game seems really weird so far. Employee 427... And all he does is hit buttons that the computer tells him to hit. Mouse sensitivity, I gotta turn up a little. Mouse acceleration disabled. Raw input enabled. That's better. Let me check, does it look good on stream? You can type on the phone. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Typing on the phone is pretty no similar to just Stanley leaving talked, a comment he on mobile. Find a trace of his co-workers. I don't know why this is kind of creepy. You my Valentine. Oh, ooh, this computer's on. Not anymore. Ha ha. So, uh, does anyone know what to do? Do I go through the open door? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, <laughs> but it didn't make a single difference. Nor <laughs> did it advance the story in any way. Hey, Felix. <laughs> this game is really funny. Goes around touching everything and it doesn't affect the story in any way. I think I like this game. When Stanley came to a set uh -oh. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. How do I do what he says or do I rebel? Uh, okay then. Yet there was not a single person here either. Chips for not Feeling getting fired. A wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let a ball up inside, take it out passive aggressively, resent co workers. What a game! This is very unique. The death sport? What the heck? More water coolers. More water cooler heaters. 
Oh. Charts need a more hip appeal to the teen teenage demographic. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographic. Well, thank you for recommending me this game because it's pretty fun. Kind of weird though. Look how detailed everything is. You can almost even read the telephone directory. The texture is so high. Wait, what does this one say? Screw it, I don't got time to read all day. Broom closet? Holy crap, I can open it! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, which way do I go? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I'll do that. This is the boss's office? What the heck? Executive bathroom? This is, how is this an office? office? Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Extra course, secret? Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by <laughs> sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay, this game is hilarious. What the heck? So it's all fake. It's like a set for a movie. I like how the insulation has more detail on it than the books in the library. I think I like this game, not sure how long I'll keep playing it. How long does it take to beat? Uh oh, what's back here? I guess nothing. Uh oh. Loading. Long loading screen though. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. Where am I as going? Though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. So I'm finally getting a sense of independence. Stanley walked straight ahead to the large what? red mind control facility. Ah, uh, I can escape. Maybe this is Stanley doesn't have a gun. All I can do is walk around. Maybe this is the test. Maybe if I try to escape, I'm leading, like doing exactly what they want. Huh. I guess I'll go to the mind control facility. <laughs> this is kind of creepy actually. Holy dark. Is this too dark on the stream? The lights rose Ooh. on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh, it's like that what room in X-Men, Cerebro or whatever. Stanley thought to himself, did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature. Oh, 104 got fired. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. So, wait, is this like a. <laughs> oh. 
Have I been mind controlled this whole time? Have I... Have I been the only one here? And I've just been tricked into thinking there's other people? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this One time? One more sub to get to was 50? Was reason he was happy with his really? boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept That's it. That's really Finally. exciting. 50 is like... Big number, holy crap. A lot of people. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was uh -huh. it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I think I have. Was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled Beep, with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Yes, I will. I wonder why the mind control things went offline today all of a sudden. Oh, what the heck's so special about now? Ooh, what's this? Console disabled. I'm a PC gamer. Get away. Did that do something? Okay, I'm kind of freaked out. I'll just keep going. You're a vet? Like a military vet? And when at last he found like a veterinarian. Power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Pressing yes will activate the self-destruct. I don't know if I want to self-destruct, though. Maybe I need to play a game that you've never played before so you can't spoil everything. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Oh, you are? Yes. He had won. He How long did you serve the for? Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps oh, it's beautiful. the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Looks really sourcey looking like source engine -y. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. 
and Stanley was happy. Ah, uh -huh. there are different endings. Try to find. Oh, so I keep replaying. Ooh, beat the game achievement unlock. Wait, let me look at the achievements real quick. I don't think you can see this on the stream. Click on door 430 times? Wait, what? Play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday? Don't play the Stanley Parable for five years? What are these achievements? Okay, well that's the end, I guess my first ending? Time to start over. Find a different ending. Hello. I just got done playing 